Let's talk about how to solve a linear function. So here's a linear function. So if we want to solve this linear function, usually, so first of all, linear, by the way, is just a fancy word for line. You can even hear it, linear line. So a linear function is a function that when you graph it, it's going to look on your graph um, like a line. And that's the kind of function you do most in like Algebra 1. You deal with linear functions quite a bit. Um, so if we want to solve this, ordinarily if your teacher asks you to solve it, what they mean is solve for y. And the reason is because when we get it into the form y equals something, it makes it very easy to graph. You might be asked at some point to solve for x. You could do that also. So when we want to solve for y, we want to get y alone. Solve for y means get y alone. So we're going to move everything else away so that y is by itself. First, we're going to subtract 2x. 2x minus 2x cancels. That's why I did it. You know, if you have positive 2x, you subtract 2x. You're going to do the opposite to get rid of it. This thing, which is really the equivalent of plus 2x, the way that we eliminate it from this side is to subtract 2x, because then we get 0. It's gone. And of course, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do to the other. That's the law of equations. Once you know that, actually, equations are pretty easy. So that's gone. So we get 3y by itself equals, now we have 9 minus 2x. I'm actually going to write negative 2x plus 9. I could have written 9 minus 2x. Now, by the way, those are not like terms, so we're not going to combine them. They don't combine. Um, if it had been 9x and 2x, they could combine. I put the 2x first only because when we have y equals mx plus b, that's the easiest form to graph in, and it's usually the one your teacher's looking for. So you're going to put the x first. Notice that the negative sign stayed with the 2x. It belongs to the 2x. Now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. Why do I do that? Because this is 3y. It's like saying 3 times y. And when you want to get this away, when you want to eliminate that, you do the opposite. The opposite of addition was subtraction. The opposite of multiplication, these are being multiplied, is division. So I divide by 3. And I need to do that to everybody. Whenever you do to one side, you have to do to both sides of the equation. And you have to do to all members of that side when you're dividing. So I get, that cancels, that's why we did it, 3 over 3 cancels. I get y alone equals negative 2 thirds x plus, and in this case it reduces, 9 over 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So if I want to solve for y in this linear function, my answer is y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 3. The two things to remember, whatever you do to one side of an equation, you have to do the other. And when you're trying to eliminate something from one side, you do the opposite. In other words, if it's being added, you subtract. If you have two things being multiplied together, then you divide. And that's how you solve a linear function.